If you're a designer or an app developer who's creating a website for their product at the moment, you most likely want the website to show how your product will look on a mobile device, where the people will actually use it or see it. And that's where phone mockups come into play, like in these beautiful pages right here. But it can be time consuming to find a mockup that fits your color scheme or create one from scratch in SketchUp or Photoshop. Add all the masks, get it to work well with your content, choose the right size, and then maybe you'll need to create yet another one and you'll have to start this whole process all over again. I'm happy to tell you that those days are over if you're working with Visual Composer. We've created a phone mockup element that you can find in the hub. Remember the last page I showed you, the red one? It was made with the phone mockup element. So let's recreate it so I can tell you more about the element. The first step is to make a screenshot of your app or your design, like this one here. And we can jump straight into the editor. So here I have a page without the element. So let's add it. But first, you can find it in the Visual Composer Hub. Let's write down mockup and here's the element. Download it if you haven't already and let's add it to a page. I want to add it here in the middle. And here we go. This is the default look of the element. You can change all sorts of parameters here, but let's start with uh, changing the image to the screenshot that we made before, just so we can see what we're working with. So to do that, Find the image here and add the screenshot from the media library. And here we go, it's added. What you can do now is change the phone type from screen only, half screen only. Here you've got the full solid, half solid, and full outline, and half outline. Those are the types. I'm going to choose the full outline and let's align it in the middle here and change the outline color so i want it a little darker and let's decrease the opacity because that is going to look awesome when we scroll down you can also change the width here so let's make it a little bigger and all right, it seems that we are done. So now let's open the page when it's done and ready. And here we go. That's how it looks. As you can see, I've made the column with the mockup element in it sticky. So the phone is the center of attention at all times and doesn't go out of the screen. So from this point on, it's all up to you. Play around with the elements, add it anywhere in the page or add as many as you want. It's all you. So thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.